Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be testing this All Powers R600 with this mini fridge from GE. Now this mini fridge, you know, it's pretty old. It's probably 10, 15 years old, I guess. Uh, but it still works really well. And what I want to know, and what I, I guess what I should say, what brings this up is yesterday we actually had a power outage for about three hours. Now, my off-grid stuff powered my other refrigerators and everything like that just fine. Uh, but this one is not plugged into those circuits. It was not running during that whole time. And so what I wanted to know is can this R600 uh, actually power this fridge? Because the initial surge of the compressor turning on, you know, will it be able to handle it? And also, how long will it run? So let's go ahead and find that out. Okay, so I have the R600 and it's actually plugged into the wall right now. And I have this A-Torch power monitor right here plugged into the AC side. Um, so what I first want to know is, since it's plugged in, the R600 actually has a UPS function. So it's like, it's basically passed through power. Okay, so I want to plug it in now to see what the initial surge is on the screen so we can kind of judge whether this thing can even power it. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And I'm looking at a 500 watt initial surge, which this thing can power that easily because it's a 600 watt inverter with a 1200 watt surge. So I believe this can power the fridge from initial startup just fine. But that is through the AC outlet. So we're gonna go ahead and do it again. And now this time I'm gonna start the test by actually unplugging the unit and then let's go ahead and plug it in and we will start our test the time is 9 10 in the morning so we'll see how long this can run all right well it's been an hour and so it's uh it's 10 after 10 and we can see that the R600 is at 85%. So it's only used 15% of its full capacity running this mini refrigerator. Now, that really means that I can assume that I might be able to get six hours out of this, uh, out of this portable power station, which is great. I was hoping, I was really hoping three hours so six hours, that would be fantastic. So I'll come back in another hour just to make sure it's down to about, uh, what, what, what would it be, about 70%? And, uh, and we'll go from there. All right, well, it is now 10 after 11. And our battery is only at 74%. So it's only gone down 11% since the, since the last time we looked at it an hour ago. So yeah, I truly believe we're going to be able to get six hours out of this, which would be fantastic. Uh, I'm going to be leaving uh, for a little bit to go to the pool. So I won't be back for probably another three hours. So when I get back, I'll let you know where we're at. All right. Well, I am back from the pool and I just checked this thing out and it's at 25%. Now it is 3.30 in the afternoon. It's been six hours and 20 minutes, and this thing still has 25% left. So I'm gonna go ahead and come back up in uh, every half hour until this thing has shut off to let you know exactly how long this R600 can power a, a dorm size refrigerator. All right, everyone, well, it's finally done. This thing just shut off, and it is almost five o'clock in the evening. So this ran for over seven hours and 45 minutes. All right, so what we found out is that if you have one of these smaller power stations, you know, something that can, uh, that has like a 600 watt inverter built in. I mean, this R600 uh, from All Powers, it only has 299 watt hours of capacity. Uh, it, like I said, it does have a 600 watt inverter and it could easily power this mini, this mini fridge, this dorm size fridge right here. I want to say at any point, the initial surge of this, uh, of this refrigerator was right around 700 watts just for a second. But while it was running, it was running like right now it's running, 
Yeah, and the display actually shows 96. So while this is running, it only uses about a little bit less than 100 watts of electricity. And what we came up with is that it ran it for seven hours and 45 minutes. I mean, that's astounding. Um, I, was, I was thinking that if it could run it for three hours, that would be great. Um, it doubled that plus an hour and 45 minutes. So if you have any questions about how I ran this test, uh, please leave them in the comments. Um, I'll try to find more information about this refrigerator. Like I said, it's at least 10 years old. I want to say we're going on 15 years old at least. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find much information on it, but I'll make sure and post it. So thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.